2008 Acura RL with mileage of 208,000 miles. Issue we have is battery appears to be not charging, alternator is not charging the battery. Vehicle died a couple times in the middle of the road, so what we're gonna do in this video is replace alternator. Here is replacement, cost about $200. But uh, before we're gonna start removing alternator, we're gonna disconnect the battery. Okay. And over here we're gonna remove coolant container. Let's get it out of the way. We can also lift uh, power steering fluid container. So here's alternator. We're gonna start by removing 10 millimeter bolt on the top. Once that's removed, you can also remove those two connections. Twelve millimeter. <clears throat> Be very careful here. Don't drop this nut. Because if you drop it under, you might never find it. When that's out, you should be able to just remove it all. That's removed, just keep it somewhere in the back. It should be good. Now you, you'll need to remove two bolts, and I'm not sure the size yet, I'll let you know in a bit. One is here and one is under. By looking at this one, so that's how it's sitting. The first one I showed you is right here, another one is right there. Before doing anything else, we'll have to remove the serpentine belt from alternator. It's a 14 millimeter, and I'm using gear wrench serpentine belt tool. I'll give you Amazon link in description below the video. Again, here is the tool, very easy to use. Hopefully you'll be able to see it, but there is a wrench over there, 3 8 and the size of the socket is 14 millimeter. I'm gonna use extension, because it might be uh, tough to remove. Once you loosen the bolt, you could try to just use socket, put it in the exact same location and just remove it by hand. Here's that bolt. The next bolt should be a lot easier. Might be tough, but use some kind of extension to remove it. Same thing, use a socket. So now nothing holds alternator, but now the fun part is to actually 
taking out the alternator from the vehicle. We'll try to move power steering reservoir on the side here. Now we're gonna try to move alternator over here. Let's try to pull maybe alternator towards me. Mm -hmm. My other recommendation is to let the engine cool down more because right now all the parts are pretty hot. Okay, we gave it 15-20 minutes. Let's try to move it now. It won't be easy. There you go, I think. Mm -hmm. There you go. So my advice before putting a new one, do a visual comparison. Make sure connections, everything, both locations, make sure it's all in the same place. And obviously make, make sure you remove pamphlet, whatever paperwork. I think that's all. Okay, let's put this one in. So the way I did it is, it goes down like this. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get a better angle, but it's nearly impossible. There we go. And looks like we are pretty much done. Looks like we did the hardest part. I'm gonna use the long bolt and I'm gonna hand tighten it. Okay, now the smaller one. Gonna go right here. Same thing, hand tighten it for now. My hands are very dirty, but I'll show you right here. Small one head tighten right here. Hand tighten it, I mean. And the other one is right there. Once you hand tighten them, it's time to use a ratchet. Okay, this side seems to be good. Let's do the other side. Now, to make sure bolts are tight, you could use extension like this if you want to. So this one's good. You can double check and do this one again. Make sure you remember 14 at the bottom, 12 at the top. Now here you can Finally put this power steering re reservoir back in place. Now it's time to put the serpentine belt back. Align everything.
So this one is good. That one looks good. This one's not so good. Okay. Okay, guys. Sorry, it started raining, but we'll get through this. I want to finish it all now. So connections here. This one's fairly easy. Just plug it in. Okay, this this one right here goes on top right here. Like this. There you go. Close it with this one. Right here, the ground. Just put this one in. Just like this. Okay, for the ground one, it's gonna be 13 millimeter. I hate that it's raining and it's even tougher now to get a good angle on the camera, but I'll do my best, guys. There we go. Just make sure your, whole, your connections are all secure and water won't get to it or at least keep it as much as you can away from water and finally and finally we'll input, put a bolt right here and the bolt we're gonna put is 10 millimeter bolt Okay, we're gonna double check all connections. And let's see, last thing we have to do on this side is put this coolant reservoir in the right place. And finally, almost done guys, let's move back to the, let's move to the battery. Since some water got on the rain on the battery, I'm gonna quickly just clean a little bit with rag, and I'm gonna put a bit of uh, protector. I'm gonna use battery cleaner and protectant. I'll give you a link for Amazon. It works great. I'm using it on all my cars. Put a negative first, doesn't really matter, I think, which order. Okay, now on the positive one. Okay, guys, we just started the car. Started with no issues, we're gonna do a quick battery test. And here's how I know for sure it's working. So it shows 1409 volts before when we were testing this vehicle it was showing about 12 and a half less than 12 while the vehicle was running so now alternator is working and it looks like we solved the issue hopefully the cycle is not gonna be back here anytime soon so hopefully you enjoyed this video i wish rain wouldn't bother this repair but unfortunately it did and also got darker here so hopefully you were able to see everything how i did the repair but still if you have any questions how to perform any of the repairs how to remove alternator if you're unable to remove it please uh, post comments below i'll try to help you out please subscribe to my channel it, it helps me a lot i want my channel to grow and i need a lot more subscribers than i currently have also, any tools I'm using in this video repair, I'll put uh, Amazon links in descriptions below. Please buy those. If you buy them, please use my links as I'll get a small percentage of what you're spending on the item. Gonna go straight to me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Take care.